and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for Hawkeye just jumping on up and uh, getting in there. Um, but this, we got some Teamer Hydra here that we're going to be playing in ranked. Uh, we'll be playing our five matches in ranked here with this deck. Um, and we played, so this is a deck that, that I made the other day um, that was a lot of fun whenever we played it and I was pretty impressed with it that I wanted to try out some more. So still running the same deck list we played just a few days ago here on the channel. Um, I think maybe maybe I need a little bit more removal. I'm not sure, but we'll kind of see. Let's just play play some games and and see how it plays. Uh, basically, what we're doing here is we we have a deck with you know our our mana creatures and a ton of planeswalkers. As you can tell, there's like 11 of them or something like that. Uh, wow, there really is 11. I just kind of remember saying 11 planeswalkers before. So yeah, there's 11. And the card, our payoff card for having all these planeswalkers, besides just planeswalkers being great is Bioessence Hydra, which is just a, gets to be a really, really big creature whenever we play Planeswalkers and have all the loyalty on them. Uh, this card's just pretty incredible. And so we can basically race anything with Bioessence Hydra. And so that's the goal of our deck here. All right, let's go ahead and get started and give it a try. See if it can hold its own over in ranked I know we just played it in the, uh, just the traditional constructed cues the last time we played it. Uh, I think Dredge lost to Grixis Control, if I remember correctly. I think that's what we lost to. Was Grixis. Thanks, Blue Jen. Yeah, I'm only playing two Sarkin because I wanted to play Nissa's also. Like, if if you go up to like four Sarkin, I think you just have to replace the Nissa's, and I think that it's it's probably better to have two Sarkin and two Nissa, or even like three and one or something like that, instead of playing four just four of the same Planeswalker. I think it's probably better to to split them up because we can't just play just a a ton of five drops, you know, Bio Essence Hydra is also a five mana card, so we can't just like have, you know, like 12 five drops or anything like that. Hello. <clears throat> with this arc in here to back him up, I'm going to try to go in haste with these. Ugh. Well, <clears throat> kind of punished. Maybe not. Oh wait, I don't even have Sarkin. I'm Bio Essence Hydra. Why did I think I had a Sarkin in my hand? I don't even know what's going on. Hawkeye was sitting in like in the way of the cards and I'm blaming him. The Bant Yoink deck. Uh, you can check it out on the... You can see the video up on the YouTube channel there. YouTube.com slash Todd Stevens MTG. Yeah, like they had a 4 3 anyway. Um, <clears throat> we're going to get this damage in. So, like, next turn I'm going to play Bio Essence Hydra. There'll be a 4 4, but then, then I'll play Tamio and Tick Up, and then I'll make it a 10 10. So, the turn after next, I'll be attacking with a 10 10 Trample. Or <clears throat> so, getting this damage in could be pretty useful. Yeah, you get a, yeah you get the counters when you play a planeswalker. Yeah, this this card's 
pretty incredible with that. Because, yeah, whenever you whenever you play a Planeswalker, it's adding loyalty counters to a Planeswalker. Or at least it counts it for that, that second ability. Um, I didn't realize that whenever I first saw the card. I didn't realize that until actually playing the card. Gross. Well, that's really annoying. Let us see if your talent. I, I guess I want. Find my notes helpful. Crasis. Crasis. I just have four of. Like all the other cards are like not four. They're all like two. I'm not beating my own bio as, as insider. That's a nine nine. That mass manipulation card is messed up. <laughs> so I guess I'll have negates and <clears throat> I don't know. Do I daredevil? Do I like try to manipulate, like steal their manipulation? But am I going to actually have that much mana? But I had to have negates. I'm just not, not going to beat manipulation, honestly. Yeah, we're just going to have to be pretty aggressive. Hmm. I guess it's Spellbreakers that I want to take out, I guess. They don't really get through Explore Creatures at all. I guess they are playing these explore creatures. Should probably have coils also. Yeah, this doesn't. I don't really like our chances here. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Do you run Vraska's to deal with Planeswalkers? Well, not in a teamer deck. Vra like, I'm not sure which Vraska's you mean. Like, Vraska's Contempt or Vraska Vagari Queen. Like, Contempt, like, that's a black card. I'm going with the Kiora here over the Domri. I don't have blue mana to play that. <clears throat> so I can draw a card off the Phoenix. Hmm. 
Well, now playing a Sarkin doesn't make a ton of sense. If we minus Sarkin... I'm still going to do it. If we minus Sarkin, they... Nature flows with vigor. Feel the heat of my flames! And make a 4-4 token, they can steal the token. Is that better than them stealing something else? I need to just do that to draw a card, you know, like I need I need land. Yes, I, yeah, I know the the token zero CMC. Listen to them roar. Impossible. Why is this not not just playing my card? I have five mana, right? That's weird. What a strange and magnificent world. Rise, my elemental friend. The ocean surges, life thrives. For push nods. Let's just fight. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> down, 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 down. Blue mana? No blue mana. Oh wait. Paradise Druid. Blue. Nice. Right. All right, just the old 2019 Trampler. Stop bringing your it's like, what year is this? Now it's 2015? Behold, nature's true power. Don't know if I want to actually play the Chandra. <laughs> yeah, it's Electrostatic Pummeler all over again. I guess I do. Watch it burn. Yeah, I already played my land because I'm dumb. Um, Let's get moving. Please don't steal the Hydra. Dang. All right, well, we should still be able to, like, I think we still have this. Yeah, like, like we still have lethal. We're good. So we need, uh, I 
Um, you add two green mana. Turn into a creature. The land shall conquer you. Play a new Nessa. Power surges through these lands. The land fights for us. I guess I. Why don't I just activate this thing first? I guess I could have just done that. It's just gonna be bad for yeah, you. Yeah, whatever. All right, so attacking with all these, they like block two fours. They take uh, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, like they just take lethal. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was lethal. I was seeing if I if we need to fight with Domri. I didn't think so. Yeah, rhythm would give Bioessence Hydra haste. Maybe we could play Samit. What if we had like a copy of Samit in here? Or Samit's a Planeswalker for Hydra that also gives Hydra haste. Kiora was awesome there that game, though. Got to draw a lot of cards with Kiora. Yeah, Big Domri does as well. Yep. Maybe a Big Domri. Big Domri also helps you find it and Krasis. I could see a big Domri instead of the Chandra. I could see that. Or maybe instead of one of these Tamios. Yeah, I guess big big Domri is pretty pretty nice. I mean, you'd want like the fourth Hydra for sure. Hmm. Unfortunately, didn't draw it. A mana creature with one of those first two draws is hoping we would. Dang. Great hand for them. Triple mana creature. I can't... I can't play... Adam right here. Because, you know, just dies. Clutch negate. Clutch negate there. Yeah, I wish we had Fiery Cannonade. Oh, no. Together, Not so clutch negate. Well, I mean, it was, but they just had another one. Well, the card that can, that can maybe take down Nyssa is the Bioessence Hydra. As long as they don't have a steel thing, we can make the Hydra big enough. Rise, my elemental friend. Flame. Well, that was a really, really strong hand for them. All right, so we've, de we've determined mass manipulation. Unfortunately, my bio is inside are not so good against mass manipulation. Ugh. So 
Unfortunate. Yeah, could they just go one of the three games without drawing manipulation? They had it the first two games. I was hoping the third game they didn't have it. So wait, does this mean I'm on the play or the draw? I think that means I'm on the play, right? I think that means play. Nope, I was on the draw. Oh no, it is play. Okay. Like, why don't they just tell you play or draw? Instead of having to remember if orange or blue means play or draw. I don't know. Why isn't there just anywhere on the screen that it just lets you know? Like, whenever you're making that decision to keep your card on top or bottom. So, a Lazatep plating to prevent that nonsense? Well, I mean, you just also have negate. Like, you know, like, we have negates that, you know, we can counter it, but, like, you might as well have negate if you're going to have plating. I just used the negate earlier on the Nissa, which was definitely necessary. So, all we saw was Forest, Forest, Growth Chamber, Guardian. It's likely a Bant deck. Just gonna keep it the same. Orange is hot, blue is cold. Orange is hot, blue is cold. Uh, against Narset, you just have to attack. You just have to attack Narset with, like, Phoenix. You know, like, he, if you can... Um, you know, if you're fortunate, like, they they play Narset on three. If it's your, like, if you're on the play, you could hard cast your Phoenix and attack Narset kind of thing. Um, but, yeah, Narset's tough. We... Like, you, you maybe have to cast your card draw on their turn and stuff like that. Yeah, that's a, that's a card you don't really want to see. Usually the decks that are playing Narset are like the, the control decks that you just try to mill them out. Bet you've never been hugged by a Kraken before. So this is Gruul. Okay, well I was thinking it was going to be Bant. It's fine, Cure is just gaining life for us. Where's my Hydra? Bioessence Hydra. No. Ah, um, there was a crisis. I love to make a splash. Well, I'm playing a bunch of Spellbreakers. Maybe I should have done Rekindling Phoenix. This study is over. Hmm. One drop ripples and grows. 
Hey, there's Phoenix. Hey, Dex. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Alright, I'm going to do the Lava Coil test here. I'm going to play this instead of Phoenix. Where if they, if they have a Lava Coil still, they'll coil, coil the Spellbreaker. And then Phoenix should be good. Ooh, just no attacks either. And Foe the King. With that sub also. Keeping those hype boats in the chat. So that gets us to 19 subs on the day. We're only one away from hitting another sub goal. That is awesome. Quite awesome. Thank you all very much. Put this back up here. Hawkeye, okay. what you doing? All right, well, I can't really... I don't think I just, like, sit around and take this Phoenix, and so we'll just kind of see if they have the burn spell or not. Um, I don't think it's worth it just to take four every single turn. So just, you know, if I'm not blocking this turn, you know, like, do I just, like, not block for a while and then block? It's might as well just start by blocking from the beginning. Feature! Getting us to that sub goal. All right, help remind me to crack a pack after this. And that's two sub goals I need to write down towards our next sub battle stream. After this, also, whenever we hit 15 total sub goals, is when I'm when doing the sub battle streams. All right, so they did have the removal. But again, I don't think that just means I should just never block the Phoenix to try to play around that. Like, I, I can't really play around it. And we're drawing lots of lands because unfortunately my Tamiyo, when I ticked up Tamiyo, we put four spells into the graveyard, which means that we are going to be drawing some lands after that. It was... Unfortunate timing. But maybe we'll get this Krasis here. Uh, wrong Hydra. Not the Krasis. We could still be good. Checks the ground pretty well. They really should... Yeah, I was going to say they really should attack out. This makes the Phoenix lethal. Good game. All right, so they are a Gruul deck. So we definitely want these Lava Coils, and I think I want the Daredevils for the, like to be able to Daredevil their Lava Coils and their like, Strikes and Shocks and stuff like that. And I, I think I don't really want Strike as much. I think the Coil is just going to be the really important one. Um, and then maybe take out... Domri or Tamio. Or Sarkin. Sarkin's pretty bad against Rekindling Phoenix. Hmm. I gotta take out four more cards. Maybe it's just Kiora.
No, Tamiya's good. Are going to take out the? I don't. I don't really know exactly which planeswalkers. Like I can. I basically can see like arguments for all of them to like take them out, bring, keep them in, that kind of stuff. I'm going to go with getting rid of the Sarkins, a Chandra, and the Chandra and a Kiora. Oh, that's a good point. That I didn't think about that. Um, that Chandra is very bad against Spellbreaker. Unless the opponent has a Planeswalker out, but yeah, that, that could be a problem. All right, even though I need land, the Krasis should just like cycle, basically. Ugh, gross. All right, maybe it won't. All right, so I don't think I want to coil their Spellbreaker. I think I want to keep the coil for a Phoenix on their side. Well, 5-5 five five is just a little bit too big for a coil. There we go. That's a good one. Domer can have my... Now I can, like, fight with a Krasis or a Phoenix on the Hellkite. Just do this.
So of course, if I, if I fight, and then they just kill my Domri. Nothing disgusts me more than law and order. Yeah, so I know they can't cast non-creature spells, but if I fight with Domri, the Hellkite just activates and kills the Domri, and then I don't actually deal the five damage, like, with the, the fight. Um, but I guess I could do that and then coil afterwards. But I, I like this Bio Essence Hydra in play, though. So I'm not sure if we can kill our opponent here. Well, probably not now. Um, coil, coil, kill one. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh, I can put them down to one. That's still that's that's probably my best play to put them down to one. I'm at ten. If I if I put them down to one and they have the Hellkite, I don't think they can kill me, right? From ten. They're gonna have five haste. I mean, they they could, you know, they could just have like two spell breakers. It basically would take two cards, a Domri plus a spell breaker. I could die here. Oh, yeah, you're right. I was just kind of focused on keeping the Bios and Hydra alive. I did have lethal there. Yeah, I have lethal there. If I would have just made... Okay, well... So if I would have... Uh, paid the four mana for one lava coil to make one a six two. Paid the four mana for another lava coil to make the other one a six two. So they're both six twos. That taps my land war elf. I have to shock and tap the land war elf um, to do that. But I do have the eight mana. And then whenever I attack, they have four total toughness between the two Feroxes, both being six twos. And so we would trample over for four damage. And then plus the four from the Phoenix, plus the three from the Hydra is eleven, and they are at eleven. All right, but we're at one and one. Where's my deck? Team or Hydra? How many creatures do I have in this deck? 23? That's just not very many creatures for this Domri. But I kind of think I, I think I want to try the Domri over the Chandra. To maybe give Hydra's haste and and Krasis and everything. Let's let's try let's try that. Let's let's try this four mana Domri. Here.
Question is, what do you think of Sarah? I don't think there's a Sarah in standard. I'm talking about like a, like the new Sarah in Modern Horizons for Modern. And if that's the case, I, I don't actually know what the card does. Yeah, Dredge doing doing real well. Yeah, Kasmina is an option. I think Kasmina is is certainly worse than the other cards. But yeah, it's an option. Everything's. I mean, everything in the colors are an option. But I don't like Kasmina more than any other card that's in the deck. All right, Tamio down makes sense because if our opponent took the uh, anything else, then we could just grab it back with Tamio. Makes sense. Awesome. Double casting, yeah, casting Shalai and Spark Double same turn. Love it. Spellbreaker. Well, that's unfortunate that I went with 3-3 three, three with, with Spellbreaker. That looks like a bad decision. After that bell hunt. So much life gain. So obviously we need to kill this Narset before we can play the <clears throat> Krasis. I have reached my limit. <laughs> Kiora, you're supposed to be out before we play the Phoenix and the Krasis and everything like that. Yeah, we really haven't faced much mono red today. I think I've probably played against mono red like one time today, something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's actually true. Yeah, I've only played against mono red one time today. Because I know Bant did once, Dredge did not play it, and Elves didn't play it. Hydra no hasn't played it. So yeah, one only one time today, just with Bant earlier. Okay, just taking up the whole screen. You don't want to bounce it? I can bounce the crisis. I haven't reset Arena this entire stream, and the fourth deck here, you can tell with. It's a little jumpy. Such violence is upsetting. I hope you don't mind if I take my octopus for a walk. Uh, 
Oh, just let me keep the rootbound crag. Didn't even choose it. So nice. So nice. Yeah. Mono red is kind of like the end, yeah, end of the month climbing desperation uh, no, <laughs> play it. That's time. that's true. And so it's the beginning of the month, so people aren't playing it. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Hurry. So yeah, it looked like a difficult difficult decision what to do with the Teferi there. We will meet again. Nature flows with vigor. Just playing the land that they know about, even though playing the breeding pool would be a little bit better for me. But yeah, just playing the card they know about. Uh, it's pretty standard to just to have the Bell Haunts main deck and Esper Hero these days. Hey, Lolly Jaeger, welcome. No, my Phoenix. Oh, come on. All I just want to do is just draw a creature. Then we'll draw another card. Ugh. Stop. I won't hide from the you know what I'm not done yet come on spellbreaker spellbreaker Blech. ah it's a beautiful day for chaos oh, I wish you could see your face while I'm beating you I won't let you win. Hold that thought. This other Kaya is a wreck of me too. All right, we definitely want the Daredevils. Um, really have the the Tibalts, I guess. For I have the Tibalts more for eh, they have like little Teferi, and the gate doesn't do anything. Not really for this deck as much. I'm just gonna take out the lightning strikes and put in Daredevils. Call it a day. So, definitely need to make sure to put Spellbreaker as a 4-4, not a 3-3. You know, not only did it could it not get through the Bell Haunt, but then, you know, died to the Othakaya. So, got the most punishment for making it a 3-3 instead of a 4-4. <laughs> no, not playing Brontodon for Othakaya. Now, Othakaya already, has already done its thing of, like, deal 3, gain 3 whenever you play. You don't want to just use another spell like have a spell in your deck just to like if, if you have a spell just to kill an oath of kaya after it's already done its thing like you're going to get buried by the esper deck you can't you can't afford to have a card that just does just does that so 
No blue mana is a problem. That we'll have to deal with later. All right, we don't need to deal with the, the no blue mana yet. Ideally, we'll draw a Rekindling Phoenix right now. That'd be ideal. Yeah, I need a, a reset here. You can see how it's just... A little laggy on everything. It's been up for six and a half hours now. Usually I, I try to reset like between leagues and I just hadn't done that today. Um, exclamation point dex, plural, can get you the list from earlier today. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Trust me, I have a plan. I'm not gonna just have my three threes get blocked by Bell Haunt. Or like like those cards get blocked by Bell Haunt or die to Othakaya. This is hardly my worst defeat. I could have attacked them down to two. Huh. It's a good game after Othakaya's wrath. We will not fail. Usually you say that whenever you're conceding. It's not very polite being on the winning end of saying good game. So, <clears throat> I think if my opponent didn't say that good game, then we would not have top decked Nissa. want them to be able to dig for dig for something else so two four behold nature's true power six seven eight I wonder if I should trim Bio Essence Hydras. 
Would I rather play negate there? I don't really need Domri. We're not doing much fighting and stuff. Let's get rid of Domri. Our opponent's not playing any counter spells, so that doesn't really matter. So yeah, we'll cut Domri's for negates, and then one of the Hydra's for negate as well. With Hydra being something to sweep up. Okay. Game three. Did look like we were dead there that game two. Very, very clutch Nissa draw. Assuming down goes Spellbreaker, but okay. But if they, what I was gonna say is if, if they had a removal spell, they may not choose to take that. And I'm not going to. I know I could just do the three haste and, you know, play around like a Tyrant Scorn, killing my Spellbreaker, but I, I still want them to use the Tyrant Scorn on it and not... I'm not going to let them Othakaya my Spellbreaker like last time. Or I get like, you know, one attack in or two attacks in and then there's Basilica Bell Haunt kind of thing. Learn that from the first game. I'm going 4-4. Four, four. I am not going to sit this one out. No! I am not making this up as I go. <sighs> now what? The big problem with playing Phoenix here is that it's not very good against 5 mana Teferi in this spot. Or even 3 mana Teferi. I'll show restraint. I'll protect you. Ugh. Dang it. Uh, I should have played the Tamiyo. I could have like grabbed like the Spellbreaker to be able to have a haste thing against the Teferi. Or just grab the Sarkin.
tough choice there of like what to play there, the Phoenix or the the Tamio. That's more like it. Really? Now we get you? You must be mad to tussle with me. I need your haste earlier. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> A little bit Just dead. before the real fun begins. Playing Phoenix instead of Tamiya was the worst choice against Teferi's. Like, you know, it was it was better against non Teferi, but, but it was really bad against Teferi. And our opponent had Teferi. And so we got got really punished and now everything. Oh, looks like you're all mouth and no hands. Basically can't stop what's going on now. So then I couldn't couldn't ever cast in a gate because of Teferi. Just ended up ended up being the wrong choice, you know. Like you you make some judgment calls when you're playing and everything, and that was a tough judgment call of which card to play, Phoenix or Tamio. It ended up being that playing Phoenix over Tamio cost me this game. I need to draw Krasis. Can't beat that card. You make this well, for me. Does Krasis beat that card? No, because then they just sack the two other creatures and I have to sack my two creatures. <laughs> Rise and shine. That's the correct way to use the good game emote. All right, so a good close match there. Good three games. Like, all, all three games were pretty close. Um, yeah, let's so let's do this reset. That's how this is being all jumpy. Um, ended up playing the wrong card on turn four. But very close games there. Thanks, Craft American Singles. Glad you're joining the dredge list. Um, I don't really want more Big Domri or Sarkin. I mean, if anything, I would maybe want more Nissa over Sarkin. Nissa making the haste creatures. Like I kind of feel like Nissa may be better than Sarkin. If I had Nissa in the graveyard instead of Sarkin, I definitely would have played the Tamio and got back Nissa. That's 100% what I would have done there with the Tamio. But with, the, with it just being like the Sarkin that wasn't. I mean, I guess Sarkin is haste with the, given the Tamio haste. So I guess I should have just done that either way. Um. Yeah, I should have just grabbed the Sarkin with the Tamio.
Together, we will prevail. Harness the elements. All right, so attacking this Phoenix player. Trying to be as, as aggressive as possible. Ah, I can't, I can't link. Dredge deck is a self mill deck. It's a deck where, where we're trying to mill ourselves. Um, oh, it's waiting on me. Sorry, I can't, I can't see this part over here because Hawkeye's, Hawkeye's actually laying over here. I have to look over on this other screen. But that's all right. I didn't realize it was waiting on. I didn't realize it was waiting on me. Hmm. So yeah, that, that's what the dredge deck is, and there's like that video. That's the dredge list there. The land fights for us. Are you ready? Yeah, you mill yourself with Ashiok in that deck. Yep. So they can have two Phoenixes to block with. But we know that they're going to be down to two. They can't attack Sarka in, of course. But then they wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, I guess he might as well attack Sarkin instead of, like, blocking Sarkin and Nyssa. <laughs> what? I will consume you. How could I have lost? Hmm. All right, do they got removal? Came to. So we want all these coils, and we want the daredevils for their coils, and I want to take out Domri. Domri. What do I want to take out? Sarkin again isn't like really that that great. Like if I don't know, we play Sarkin and make a four four. They. Coil the four four, then you only have a two two loyalty planeswalker. I think Tamiya, Sarkin, those cards seem kind of slow. Hmm. If we take out all of the, if we just take out all these planeswalkers though. This is gonna make Biowesson's Hydra a lot worse. But I think those are the cards we take out. Mm 
I'll take out one Hydra. Also. Then since we're making the Hydras worse. Um I don't think we need Brontodon in here. Like Brontodon doesn't match up against Lava Coil well and sure it doesn't die to strike or shock, but it doesn't really it's not better than other cards. You know, like we already have three mana, four toughness things with the spellbreakers. Hmm. I guess their six card hand was was really bad and just didn't want to didn't want to deal with me trying to decide whether or not to keep that seven. And they're just going to the next match. Alright, we're gonna play one more here. We're gonna play the decider. We're two and two. So do we end up with three and two? Or two and three? Got one more match here for tonight. Oh, you know what? We never cracked open the pack for getting to the 20th sub. We never cracked another pack. Let's get a pack. We never did that. Awakening of Vitu Gazi. That's a lot of fun to say. 9 is really big. That's a cool card. Well, Ban Arcbow is a great deck. If we put it up against the Gruul Arcbow, which one would you say is more explosive? I don't know. They're about the same. Explo Explosive-wise. I think Bant would be pretty heavily favored in the matchup because I think Lyra and Shalai... You know, specifically Lyra is just a huge problem for Gruul. Need red mana. I kind of just wish I would have just kept that seven. You know, five lands and two five drops. It's a, a more competitive hand than what I have here of not being able to cast any spell whatsoever. No! Ah, uh, I tried to full control. I was going to just concede before my opponent saw my hand. You know, have them think that I was like a Simic deck or something and not as aggressive as I am. Well, the two decks have like basically the same amount of gas. Like they were, they're both just a bunch of like the two decks that King Jay is talking about are both just creature decks with Arcbow. It's not really that, like, one has more gas than the other. But the... Um, the lifelink flyers are... Gonna be a big decider there. Although, who knows? Maybe we just win this. Somehow. Maybe our opponent just has a bunch of lands. Kind of good thing I didn't concede. Maybe we, maybe we somehow win this. Never know. Okay, never mind. Take that back. Let's hold that thought. No chance anymore.
Yeah, laser guns. It's fine. I mean, we're two and two right now. No time for a break. We mold a five this game, and so we are, of course, losing against the turn turn two hero and turn five to fairy. I know my responsibility. Fairy is a difficult card for us to beat, though. That's that's the card that we've struggled against. Are these to fairies? Basically just not keeping in removal for hero precinct one. Just not even not even trying to fight on that axis of like creature removal. Just trying to fight against the, all the control aspects of their deck. You know, I am expecting Kaya's Wraths on their side for our stuff, and they're going to need a... If they need a Kaya's Wrath, our creatures, then there goes the Hero Precinct 1 and their tokens. Bearded Butte. Thank you so much, Butte. I do appreciate that. Twitch Prime sub there. Or number 21. So it didn't get any... Um, damage in with the Spellbreaker. But as we talked about, like with Oath of Kaya, Basilica Bell Hunt that we had before, I really didn't want to do the 3 3 with it. And sure, we didn't get the 3 damage in, but I think it's worth it. Um, actually, let's go. Actually, I changed my mind. I was going to do Krasis for 4. But I guess it's possible that I could have Krasis for six, like the next turn, like draw three the next turn if we hit a land. I just lost that card last time we played this deck. Let's get moving. You'd think that I would have remembered that and then had something for Dawnbringer, but I forgot about Dawnbringer again. Oh, sweet. Right, we have Daredevils. Never mind. We got something for, for Dawnbringer. We're good. All good here. Aw, oh, thanks, Peter Butte. Glad you discovered the YouTube channel. Do we think our opponent's playing counter magic? Going with Phoenix over Hydra, like I could have played Hydra by activating the Kiora, like afterwards. But going with the Phoenix because if this is a Kaya's Wrath here, I want the Phoenix out there because Phoenix will come back and let me draw another card. Now 
Never mind, we will not draw another card. Alright, we'll just make it a casual 10-10. ETB draw card. One drop ripples and grows. This Kiora has been awesome for us. This Bio Essence Hydra casual fifteen fifteen. Informant for my study. Let me aid your research. Follow me into the dark. Nissa. No Nissas. Consider saying negate there. <laughs> no, I don't have any thuds in this. <laughs> Alright, so is two Daredevils enough for Lyra Dawnbringer? I guess so. I don't really have good other good options. Like my other options is like Dom Refight. Or just make bigger card make bigger creatures with Krasis and Bio Essence Hydra and Race. The Kiora was was really clutch. Though that game we drew a whole lot of cards off that Kiora. I wonder if we should have more Kioras. Hmm. That's a perfect draw step. Because nothing, like, all these things cost four mana to start with. So having this Paradise Druid helps that out. Uh, yeah, I do like Resplendent Angel quite a bit. Um, I don't remember exactly what I replaced with Growth Chamber Guardian, to be honest. Better be careful. Let's just have a look see, shall we? No, the Kiora. Any skirmish you can walk away from, right? <sighs> I assume it's going to be Daredevil here. I mean, I guess it could be Krasis also, though. But if they... Like, Daredevil is just another Thought Erasure, right? Like, so I, I get to Daredevil Thought Erasure. Wow, it's Phoenix? That is not what I was expecting. I missed a land drop. Double Kaya's Wrath. Well, I guess I'm not going to play another Land War Elf with that Kaya's Wrath. Alright, Krasis. More cards. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Crunched. Hey, Ahmed.
Don't have to be too worried about a third Kaya's Wrath, because I have the negate. Oh my gosh. Well, hmm. Then I have to negate the, the Elder Spell. What if I just play Krasis? Nah, let's just negate this Elder Spell. Witness the ties that bind us all. Behold, nature's true power. All right, and three and two for Teamer Hydra. Honestly, those dare the two Daredevils were just amazing in the sideboard. Maybe that's like the card that we just want more Daredevils. We saw both times that we drew, like those games two and game three, we drew a Daredevil. Both those games and both games, the Daredevil got rid of the opposing Lyra Dawnbringer. Um, I could certainly see playing more Daredevils. I I kind of hate Tibalt. Tibalt's like for, you know, like Wow Growth Walker, which is lame. What if you just play more? Daredevil's like awesome. Yeah, Daredevil's really cool. What if we just played like a bunch of Daredevils? So that card's great. Um, maybe another Tamiyo in the sideboard for getting back things against the control decks. Or just, just another Planeswalker, like another Nyssa. Another Nyssa, another Chandra. Anything like that. Hey, Tamiyo. Yeah, I like Tamiyo. Yeah. Maybe something like that. Could be another negate. I don't know. I'll make those changes there. Uh, to the deck. Um, Ugin. Could be Ugin. Could be Ugin. Ugin does take out other Planeswalkers and stuff. You know, you get to minus Ugin. U yeah, let's let's play an Ugin. In that kind of matchup. Kill a Teferi. Kill a um, Liliana. Like, Liliana would be a huge problem. So, yeah, kill Liliana. Kill um, Lyra Dawnbringer. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. So yeah, let's just get rid of those Tibalts. My card's not any good. All right, this is gonna be the list that I'm gonna upload to for the deckless command, even though this wasn't the exact decklist we played uh, during the uh, stream. But uh, I'm gonna upload this one. Uh, but yeah, the deck was deck was pretty sweet. So definitely liked Bioessence Hydra, of course. Um, but yeah, like these, the, all these Planeswalkers are good. Kiora was particularly impressive. Domri did some good things. We went 3-2, and honestly, one of those losses to Esper, I think I may have been able to win it if I would have played Tamiyo instead of Phoenix, like that that one game. Or at least it would have been a whole lot closer. Uh, yeah, honestly, I may have just been able to win that one. Uh, so it, it could have been a 4-1, maybe. Like, we had a, a real, you know, a, a tough decision on turn four of, like, what to play, Phoenix or Tamiyo, and I played the Phoenix, and that got to ferried and then, you know, just snowballed out of control for us, where if I would have grabbed Tamiyo, if I would have played Tamiyo, Tamiyo would have gotten Sarkin out of my graveyard, and then against the Teferi, we would have had a haste creature to attack it, and, and so on. So that, that decision cost me. That was a close one. But this deck's just pretty cool. You know, like, there's lots of... Lots of cool cards to play, honestly. I, I mean, I just like how this deck looks and how it plays and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, like in the deck. Um, the Lightning Strikes in the main, that helped us kill the Phoenix player. You know, having the Lightning Strikes main instead of Coil, but Coils would have just got rid of their Phoenixes, even though we wouldn't have killed them immediately. Yeah, this this was a deck I put together here. I uh, just put it together the other day. Um... I think Tamiyo's too slow. I mean, the deck can play like a late game, and Tamiyo, Tamiyo really helps you find... Like, Tamiyo's just awesome with Krasis, right? Like, you tick up, you find your Krasises that, that go over the top or goes and gets back Krasis, or it helps you find, like, your Bioessence Hydra if you need, or, you know, like, it, it just does so much stuff. Tamiyo's just a great card. 
the like you want a lot of planeswalkers in your bio essence hydra deck of course and tamio is a good four mana planeswalker with six loyalty immediately whenever you take it up just a good card so that's team or hydra so if you're watching this video later on youtube hope you enjoyed it please hit the like button over there as well i'd appreciate that um and don't forget to subscribe to the channel also so you can see all the sweet decks that we're playing here on stream uh, but that's it for team or hydra thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you for another video